Hey learners, this is your teacher Dr. Anam and today we are going to study about the cell size and surface area to volume ratio. Cell size vary greatly. There are some cells which are very small, for example bacterial cell which range from 0.1 to 1 micrometer. While there are some cells which are very large, for example bird eggs, they are very large cells. While other cells they lie between these two extremes. Now the size and shape of the cell is very important because of its functions. If we talk about egg cells, the large size of egg is very important because it needs to store the nutrients for the developing baby. While if we talk about the muscle cells, the muscle cells they are required for the proper movement of body for the contraction and relaxation. Similarly, red blood cells, the shape and size of red blood cell is very important to transport oxygen. The size of red blood cell is so small that it can easily pass through the capillaries. So the small size of cell is very beneficial. Always remember that small cells they have large surface area to volume ratio. Whenever somebody is going to talk about the surface area to volume ratio in context to the cell, always remember that smaller the size of the cell, larger the surface area to volume ratio. For example, we have two different types of classrooms. In one classroom, the teacher is present at this point while all the students they are arranged in lines. While in another example, the students they are arranged in a circular way. If we talk about cell size and surface area to volume ratio, if a student from this position wants to access to the teacher, it will take large time for the student to reach to the teacher. While in case of this circular classroom, the student can easily access to the teacher. If we talk about in context to cell size, so larger the surface area to volume ratio means that easy access of nutrients and easy removal of waste while size of cell is very large the excess is difficult and let's take the example here here we have one large cube while here we have 27 small cubes the size of this one large cube is 30 micrometer while the size of this one small cube is 10 micrometer if we talk about the volume the volume of both these cells are same here we have the formula of volume which is length, height and weight multiplied with each other. So we have the volume of 2700 micrometer cubes. While the surface area for both these examples are different. Surface area for a cube is equal to 6 multiplied by the length of side power 2. So if we talk about the surface area of large cube which is this we know it has 30 micrometer size or length of the side so 6 this one 30 this one into 2 we have 5400 micrometer square surface area but if we talk about the small cube the small cube has a length of side of 10 micrometer so we have a surface area of 600 micrometer square for one small cube here we have one small cube if we talk about all the 27 cubes then the surface area is 16200 micrometer square it means the total surface area of these 27 cells is larger as compared to this one large cube so that is why we are saying that the smaller the size, the larger the surface area. Now in this surface area, we have 27 cells while in this surface area, we have only one cell. So as the size of the cell decreases, its surface area to volume ratio increases, which is beneficial because it is easy to access the nutrients and it is easy to remove the waste products for example if if a cell if a large cell wants to remove its, its waste product it needs to travel a large distance to reach out of the 
cell but if this small cell wants to remove the waste product that can easily be removed without traveling large distances that is why small cell size is benefit so that was all about the cell size and surface area to volume ratio if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section i'll see you in the next video